Hi guys, this is Niels. Welcome back to another episode of how to use Logic Pro on stage. Uh, in this episode two, I'm going to discuss all the elements you need to make this happen. So here's what you need. So obviously we need the software Logic Pro. And with that, we're also going to need an Apple computer since Logic was bought by Apple and therefore you're going to have to buy a Mac to run it. I'm using a MacBook Pro. Uh, I used to have a MacBook, works just as fine. You don't need the most powerful computer since at the most we're going to run back maybe eight audio tracks, stereo tracks, so no heavy processing or synthesizers that we generate unless you want to go crazy. Uh, but a regular machine will do. But we need additional outputs. Uh, so the two, uh, the headphone out jack is not enough. We need four audio outputs and we need hookups for power and MIDI or an additional audio interface that has both. Next, you're gonna need an audio interface. Uh, we're gonna need four outputs. There are many uh, options available. I personally use the Focusrite Scarlett. Uh, it has four outs, uh, MIDI in and out and a, a pretty powerful headphone amp uh, that's strong enough so I can send the signal to the drummer right here from the front. Don't even have to crank it up all the way. I'm playing with some drummers who have a, a fairly solid touch, so they need a solid click, they need to be able to hear that. So make sure that the uh, audio interface you choose has enough power and they can hear it through, uh, through the band. So your drummer's gonna need headphones or in-ears and depending on what kind of audio interface you have, you might need a little headphone amplifier. Um, if it's not powerful enough, you need more volume, uh, you need to bring that up, a little mixer, a little uh, headphone amplifier. The Scarlett is powerful enough, it works well, but make sure that the cable you have to run back to the drummer is a long one because you need to go all the way around the drum set so he can plug it in. Now in the back I have two cables coming out of the audio interface that carry the music signal left and right. That's the music without a click. We usually plug that into a DI box and then distribute it to the PA and the floor monitors. Uh, this is the music that the band's gonna hear and what the audience is gonna hear. So back here we have the power cable for the audio interface and the USB cable that connects to the computer as well as a MIDI cable that receives MIDI signals from our foot switch. Yes, and we do need a MIDI controller as well. Um, I was looking for a MIDI foot switch that's rugged that I can drag around on the road. And I came across this Randall guitar amp channel switcher that uses MIDI protocol. Uh, even though it uses a, a 7 pin cable in the back, you can fit a normal MIDI cable into uh, its output. Just make sure you're putting it the right way. There's obviously other solutions. This would be a bigger one. Uh, it's actually overkill for what we need. We don't need that many switches, but many companies make some uh, different variations thereof. We need basically three buttons and we need a MIDI out. So make sure it has a MIDI out. Finally, there's one more optional item I'd like to mention. This is a cooling fan for a laptop. Uh, I notice a lot of times the computer might sit outside on stage it gets very hot. Computers don't like to be hot. This will keep it cool. The fans will cool the computer. Plugs into a USB and doesn't need extra power therefore. Just a USB spot and keeps your computer nice and cool. So this is my rig all put together. You see my wireless, my audio interface and a power supply. All the power and cable hookups fit neatly into a two-space rack that I take on the road with me. So I'm not specifically endorsing any of the items mentioned in here. That's just the gear I use. Many companies make uh, MIDI and audio interfaces and MIDI foot switches. So uh, please feel free to leave comments underneath in this video of maybe alternatives that you come across. So that's it. Uh, stay tuned for the next installment when I'm going to talk about how to set up the specific logic session. So please follow me on Facebook at Nils Guitar and on YouTube at Nils Guitar and stay tuned for the next show.